So then gang, right now we're defining all of our poles data, the array, inside this root app component. Then we pass down the poles as a prop into the poll list component, and that passes down a single poll as a prop into poll details. So we're passing data down this tree. Now, if we want to add a poll to this data, then we do that from create poll form, and we emit a custom event, and we pass that data back up. We edit the polls data directly inside app. Then we pass down the updated data as a prop into poll list and poll details like before. Now, if we wanted to vote on a poll, if we wanted to change the poll details, then we would do that from poll details, we'd vote on it, that would emit a custom event with the data up to poll list, and that would then forward the event onto app, we'd change it, it would come back down to poll list, and then come back down to poll details. So there's a lot of up and down in all of this, and it would be nicer if we could store our data in a more central location so we don't have to go up and down the tree every time we're passing data around. Now we can do that in Svelte by using what's known as a store. So we can create a central store of data and register all of our data there, and then if we wanted to subscribe to that store and get that data, we could do so directly, for example, in the poll list. And if we wanted to update that data, we could do it directly, for example, from poll details or from create poll form. And every time this data updates, whatever component is subscribed to it is going to get the updated data like this. And this makes it much easier to manage our data, especially when our application becomes bigger. Now, in our case for polls, maybe we could get away with defining all of our data inside that because it's not a huge application. But I wanted to show you this way for if you do create slightly larger applications in the future. So the first thing I want to do is create a new store file to create our store inside of. Now, you could create that anywhere inside the source folder. I'm going to create a new folder called stores just to keep our files organized, but you can place it elsewhere if you wish. And then in here, I'm going to create a new file, and this is going to be called poll store.js. Now this is .js, not .svelte. We're not creating a Svelte component here. We're just creating a store, somewhere to store our data. So inside this store, what we need to do first of all is import something from Svelte, and the thing we want to import is writable. Now writable means we can write and read from this store, so we can update it if we want as well as reading from it. It's probably the most common type of store. So that is from Svelte forward slash store. Okay, so now we have this, we need to actually create the poll store, and I'm going to do that by saying const poll store is equal to writable, and we invoke that. Now, this creates us a store of data, a writable store, and we can pass in some initial data for this store if we want, much like we have some initial data right here for polls. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it inside this thing right here. So I'm pasting in the array and just adding one poll to this writable store. So this writable store is now storing this array of data, and we need to export this now. So let me come down to the bottom, export, default, and poll store, like so. Okay, so now I'm gonna save that, and we need to import this into any file that we want to be able to listen to this store and get data from. So I wanna do that inside the poll list, but before we do this, I want to go back to the app component and delete the data from here. We're no longer going to keep it there. So let me delete all that and also where we pass it through as a prop to the poll list because now the poll list is going to directly reach out to the store to get the data instead. So inside poll list, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we need to import the poll store. So let me do that at the top. Import poll store from and we need to come out of the current directory, so dot dot, then into the stores folder, then forward slash poll store dot js. Okay, so we're grabbing that store, we're importing it, and now in this file we can subscribe to the data inside this store. So how do we do that? Well, pretty simply, all we need to do is down here say poll store dot subscribe, like so. And then this fires a callback function once we subscribe to the store. 
and this callback function takes in as a parameter the data we get from the store. Now, because there's only one parameter inside this arrow function, I can delete the parentheses. So this data is whatever is in the store right here. And whenever this data changes, then it's gonna refire this callback function and pass the updated data to us. So what do we wanna do at this point? Well, all we want to do is say, well, okay, every time we get the data, we want to set polls equal to whatever that data is. So if I say polls is equal to the data, we're updating this value, and therefore it's going to re-render, and it's going to cycle through those polls again and output them to the DOM. It's going to output a single poll at a time using the poll details component. So that's all we need to do now. We subscribed to this store, this poll store right here where we defined this initial data as well. So we subscribe to that and now every time there is a change in data, it fires this callback function and it passes us all of the data, so anything inside of this. And it also passes us this data and fires this callback function when we first subscribe as well. So then we update polls to equal that data and therefore we should see those on the screen because we cycle through them and output them. So let me save this and come over here and we should see that poll. Now we don't. So let's see what's going on. And it could be because, yep, I've spelled writable incorrectly. It doesn't have an E, so writable like that. Let me save it, and now we see it. Awesome, so this works. However, if we try to vote, now nothing works because currently, if we try to edit the data, we're doing that from the poll details over here. If we take a look at this, we're emitting a custom event right here, dispatching that called vote. It goes up through the poll list where we forward it onto the app and then inside app we try to handle that and update the polls right here inside this component. Now we don't want to do that, we'll address this later on where we'll edit directly the store data from poll details and also if we try to add a new poll as well, this isn't going to work because again we're passing this up into the app.svelte component and we're trying to edit the data there and it's no longer there, it's in the store now. So we'll address all of this updating the store and changing the data in the store later on but there's one more thing I want to talk about now and that is to do with unsubscribing from a store. So once we've subscribed to a store, unsubscribing from a store later on when we don't need the subscription anymore. And to do that, we'll have to talk about lifecycle hooks and that is coming in the next video.